When you go to Costco, should you buy the Charmin toilet paper or the Kirkland brand? This Charmin goes for $22.49 and the Kirkland brand for 30 rolls, it goes for about $16.49. The price might fluctuate a little bit depending on if there's a coupon sale or whatnot. For some weird reason, they tell you about the per square foot price, which is 2.7 cents per square foot for the Charmin and 1.0 cents per square foot for the Kirkland. Now, I don't know about you when I am in the toilet, I don't take out one square foot at a time. I take out one square at a time. The Charmin is a little bit longer. They're both four and a half inches wide. The Charmin is 4.2 inches long, whereas the Kirkland is four inches long. So it's tiny bit smaller. All you care about is that the toilet paper is big enough. If it's big enough for your usage, you're gonna use a certain number of squares. Charmin, each roll has 214 sheets and they're two ply. Kirkland, 425 sheets and also two ply. So close to about twice the number of sheets that you can get in the Kirkland and it's a little bit cheaper. If you work out how much it costs per sheet, this is about 0.35 cents per sheet, whereas the Kirkland brand is about 13 cents per sheet. This translates to the Charmin being 270% more expensive per sheet. So if you go to the bathroom, whatever number of sheets that you always use, if you don't change the number of sheets that you use, this is going to cost you 270% more to go to the bathroom. Today, I'm going to open these up and do a few tests to see how they are in performance. Both of these come in five packs of six, so 30 rolls for both of them. I'm going to take the Kirkland one out. This is the Charmin. Here's the Charmin. Let's weigh this. 5.01 ounces. And the Kirkland. 7.2 seven ounces. So, wow, about 45% heavier. Charmin squeeze test. I'm squeezing this with a reasonable amount of force and you can see 13 16 inch at the minimum point. Kirkland, about 14 16 inch. So roughly about the same volume after squeezing it. This is the Charmin and the Kirkland. It does feel slightly beefier in terms of squeezing. The Charmin does feel a little bit softer. Just a, yeah, yeah, it does feel softer. But this is not bad itself as well. The Charmin does have their logo, whereas the Kirkland is just pattern print. Let's look at the Charmin. I can rip it like that. If I try to tear the two sheets apart, it's quite clingy together. Let's do the same thing with the Kirkland. Seems like the second layer on the Kirkland has to go a longer distance. So it accumulated so much that there's an offset in the toilet paper itself by the time it gets here. So as you kind of go further in, I'm sure it's gonna correct itself a little bit. Whereas on the Charmin, it is aligned already. See? If you care about the alignment of your toilet paper at all, I rolled out a little bit of the Kirkland. I'm going to tear it again and you can see it's aligned a little bit better now. I've created a small strength test over here. I'm just going to pull this until it tears. Two ounces, four, six. I got to try to make this kind of parallel. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 ounces. Okay. It won't tear even with about one pound of pull. I have this scale, so let's try this test again. I gotta do it slowly. One pound. It looks like one pound, it does it. Let me try this again. I'm making sure I'm pulling it parallel so that it doesn't give extra stress to these corners. One pound. It looks like a little bit over one pound in tear. 1.2 pound or so. Try this again with the Kirkland brand. Start the pull. One pound. Oh, a little bit less. It's about 0.8 pounds. Let's try this again with the Kirkland. About one pound. Thing. So the Kirkland has 0.8 and 1 pound and the Charmin over here has 1 pound and 1.2 So I'm gonna say 0.9 versus 1.1 pound pull. This is roughly a 20% strength increase since there are twice 
the number of sheets in the Kirkland, I'm gonna use two sheets to compare to one sheet of Charmin. This might be quite an unfair test because four sheets probably will be a lot stronger than two ply of the Charmin. But you're looking at about the same cost, even slightly less cost in the Kirkland brand. So let's do a pull test on this as well. One, 1 1.2, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.7 or so. It does reflect that it's close to about twice the strength, which is reasonable because you have twice the number of tissue paper here. So let's say you normally use four sheets of Charmin and going over to the Kirkland, you're like, oh, it's not strong enough. So you use eight sheet instead, it still will be cheaper. But I think choosing between the Charmin or the Kirkland, you can't really go for the performance test at all. How much is something really soft against your butt really worth? You're paying more for something that is of higher quality, but a lot more around 270% more. I'm gonna put this against my face. This is soft. This is not as soft, but reasonable. I don't know, subjectively, this is 30. It's quite a bit softer, 30, 40% softer. But it's not 100% softer, which is what you're paying for. 30 to 50% softer, you're paying 270% more. So you have to really consider, is that small extra softness worth it to you to pay 270% more? Now let's move on to the absorbency test. I'm gonna put some water here. I'm gonna put the tissue paper on here, absorb as much water as possible. When I remove everything, it's gonna read a negative number here and that's how much water I've taken out of this plate, indicating the absorbency of each toilet paper. Let's start with the Charmin. I'm going to just drip everything. It shows about 0.25 ounces. I'm going to tear it out. I'm going to do the same thing with the Kirkland. Mine is 0.14. So, wow, it's 0.25 absorbency versus 0.14 ounce absorbency. Let me do this test again. Here's the Charmin. Yeah, I let it drip a little bit, you know, because I don't want it to be runny. So 0.25. Here is the Kirkland, probably going to be 0.14 again. So let's see. Let it drip a little bit. Yeah, about 0.14. So if I have two of these, it's going to be 0.28 versus 0.25 for one of these. So in terms of absorbency, you can actually use two pieces of Kirkland instead of one piece of Charmin and it would perform better and it will cost you less. For the Charmin, you basically have to use one sheet minimum. You can't just cut a sheet in half. In terms of strength test, it is about 20% better. In terms of absorbency, it is significantly more absorbent than the Kirkland, but you can just use double amount of sheets for the Kirkland. Overall, I think going forward, I probably would just get the Kirkland because it's cheaper and I don't really mind it being slightly less soft than the Charmin, you should probably just use a bidet anyway and you can significantly reduce the amount of toilet paper that you use. I think Charmin is more for people that don't mind spending 270% more for toilet paper, just kind of like a luxury spending thing. Maybe you're flexing to your friends or something and if they go to your restroom, oh, you use Charmin, all oh, the nice stuff. But overall, if you're looking for value, Kirkland is the way to go. So that's my view on these things. Thanks for watching.